Hey, how's it going? My name is Shu. If you just got a new Mac or looking for some upgrades for your Mac to be more productive, this video is for you. Here's a list of my favorite Mac apps that will help you get the most out of it. Number one is Text. This is such a useful Mac exclusive app. Text is like a um, universal inbox that connects all of your messaging apps. So you can connect your WhatsApp, Twitter DMs, Instagram DMs, Slack, Discord, and so on, and then see all of the messages in one place. So if you're using multiple apps to talk to your friends or or colleagues, text can be life-changing because you no longer have to switch between apps, which is honestly a bit tiring and it's easy to miss and forget some messages if you're using different apps all the time. Also, if you're unhappy with Twitter DMs or Instagram DMs, text adds some solid improvements like a reminder to reply and labels, just like you can do with emails. This was the main reason why I started using text to be honest. I just didn't like the default Twitter DMs. So if you're like me, you might have this one. If you're looking for a new web browser for your Mac, there are a few options you might want to try. Arc is one of my favorite browsers that is exclusive to Mac. It's probably the most fun web browser to use. It's got a unique, beautiful design, as well as lots of useful features. The best one is the split screen, where you can see multiple websites and uh, apps side by side, and you can save the layout so you can use them anytime, which is pretty cool. There are many other cool things you can do with it too. For example, you can create multiple spaces for different purposes or even different projects and then also create a canvas where you can organize information visually. This is really helpful when you are doing a research and have so many notes and uh, ideas. It can easily be your note app if you wanted. And another browser you might want to try is Microsoft Edge. For now, it's the only web browser that integrates with AI and ChatGPT, although Google will probably do the same soon. Anyway, it's incredibly useful. Uh, there are so many things you can do with it, uh, but maybe the most useful one is is that you can access the new Bing, which is Microsoft's AI-powered search engine with just one click. Just like with ChatGPT, you can ask it any questions, have some conversations, or have it write some things for you. The quick access to Bing is probably the best thing about it. So if you want to have an AI assistant while you browse, you should get Microsoft Edge. Speaking of AI, another great Mac app to access ChatGPT and other AI assistants is Paul, which I actually introduced last week. It's Mac and uh, iOS exclusive for now. You can access the default ChatGPT as well as the, the new version powered by GPT-4. Although the new one is for subscribers only, so you have to pay a monthly fee to use it more than once. And then there are also other AI assistants like Claude, which is a serious competitor to ChatGPT. Overall, it runs super smooth and the response is fast and it's basically free, so you should definitely check it out. Okay, let's get back to web browsers. If your priority is privacy, perhaps DuckDuckGo is the one for you. It offers some great privacy protection features such as um, tracker blocking and uh, site encryption. If you're worried about Google collecting your personal information like every website you visit, this is great. I don't usually use it, to be honest, but I like its email protection feature especially. It lets you generate a random email address that you can use for signing up to websites. This way, you don't have to expose your real email address and thereby protect your privacy better. So I almost always use this feature whenever I sign up to a website, newsletter, or any kind of service that requires my email address. Also, if you're a privacy conscious user, you should add apps like um, Fastmail and uh, 1Password to your stack too. These are great. Oh, by the way, I got this smart desk mat recently and I love it. It's made by a company called Moft, who is the sponsor of today's video. Moft is a company that makes beautiful ergonomic products for your work and lifestyle. I've been a huge fan of their products for a long time, such as this laptop stand and affordable phone stand. So I'm really happy to be able to talk about them in this video. One of their latest products is this guy, the Moft smart desk mat, which is a multifunctional mat that can turn any surface into a smart workspace. It comes with a wireless charger, NFC tags, magnetic book and tablet holders, cable organizers and uh, many more. I've been using it for a few weeks now and I love how it keeps my desk organized and uh, clutter free. I can charge my phone wirelessly without any cables. I can even put my Apple Watch on it if I wanted to take it off a little bit. There are a few things I really like. One is this wrist rest. It's very comfortable and can support my wrist and hands while I type. And another thing is that you can change the angle of the mat depending on how you want to use it. You can just 
keep it flat but you can also lift it up a little bit so you can use it as a laptop stand and then when you're reading a book or have a tablet you could use it as a book or tablet stand too but my most favorite thing is the nfc function i can customize what happens when i tap my phone on the nfc tags for example i can set it to open a focus timer a spotify or turn on do not disturb mode when i'm working uh, there are so many choices it's very convenient and uh, fun to use if you're interested in getting your own smart desk mat you can check out their website from the link in the description they have a lot of beautiful top quality products okay let's get back to the list you probably know this one because it's in almost every mac user's toolkit it's clean my mac every time i make a video about mac apps i always include it simply because it's that good i won't go into too much detail about it but essentially it cleans up your mac from all the junk that you don't need i like how it scans everything on your mac and it cleans it up for you including potential virus it just makes the experience of using mac so much better especially if you plan to use it for a long time because it's great at keeping it running fast and smooth and making the battery last long Sometimes journaling is a great way to keep your mind calm and uh, distress yourself and also it's nice to have a record of your journey. For that, Stoic is a fantastic journaling app. It's actually more than a simple journaling app. You can of course start writing on a blank page but there are also many prompts and uh, writing exercises which makes it easier to build your journaling habit and then it also has a built-in meditation and uh, breathing exercises too. Of course it doesn't have as many meditation exercises as the major meditation apps like Headspace and the calm but to be honest this is more than enough for me and it's available on mobile too so you can always start journaling and do a meditation whenever you like raycast is the first app i install whenever i get a new mac it can transform your mac into a productivity machine it's a free app that lets you control your computer with just your keyboard and helps you boost your productivity by allowing you to quickly access apps files settings and more with raycast you can use keyboard shortcuts to launch apps switch between windows search the web create notes and reminders control music playback and perform many other actions you can also customize it to suit your preference and uh, workflow by installing extensions that add more functionality and uh, integrations the raycast store has so many extensions that you can probably find something that fits your needs there's even an extension that lets you talk to ChatGPT directly from Raycast. Also, I love- Alright, the last one is Rewind. It's kind of a crazy app. It records everything you do on your Mac and then lets you go back and watch it whenever you like. Hence the name Rewind. You might find this concerning from a privacy standpoint, but all the data is stored locally on your Mac and you can delete it whenever you like. It's crazy, but actually super useful, especially when you want to recall something that happened on your computer. For example, if you forgot what someone said in a Zoom meeting, you can use Rewind to find the exact moment and replay it. Or if you need to copy some text from a document or email that you closed, you can use Rewind to search for it and paste it anywhere. It also gives you full control over what apps and the windows are recorded so you can exclude any sensitive or private information from being captured. By the way, if you want to know more amazing backups, check out this video. I talk about some of the other great apps in it. Okay, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time. Bye!